Sitting here in my backyard, finally made it back to LA. So just out here, just chilling. I have this cleaning lady inside my house right now, so I figured while she's in there cleaning, I was like, let me just come out here and just talk to you guys. So I came up with a list of nine things that make you a high value artist. Now, before I get into it, let me say this. When I say high value artist, that you could be on any level and be a high value artist. And what I mean is like, um, just because you're not signed or just because you, you know, you don't have any Grammy nominations or whatever, that's, th that's not what makes you high value. It's the principles that I'm about to actually show you because I know a bunch of artists that let's say they they don't have major deals. However, they got more money than the major artists. They carry themselves in a way more than a major artist. They're more knowledgeable more than a major artist. And then, as you know, I work with a lot of major artists, but I've worked with a couple of them that are dead broke and they don't know anything because they don't, they're not going by these nine principles I'm about to teach you. Okay. The first thing is getting serious about your health. That's pretty much self-explanatory as an artist. You don't want to be a, you don't want to be an unhealthy artist. Uh, there's been plenty of artists that just, uh, passed out on stage or just lose their breath because they're not healthy. You got to develop physical healthy habits. Um, like me every single day I get up, I go to the gym or either I go for a three mile walk or run. But you got to think as an artist, you're going to be in the public eye. You're going to be on stage performing. You want to be healthy. Health is wealth. So make sure that you take care of your physical health. The second thing I'm going to say is mental health. Now, I know you guys are thinking I'm going to talk about performance and all that, but that comes later. Um, first, it, these first four things are the things that actually matter the most because it doesn't matter how good of an artist you are and it doesn't matter about all this other shit if you don't have your physical health and if you don't have your mental health. Health is wealth and both of those actually matter. One out of every three people are going through a depression. Look how many artists that have literally just overdosed and killed themselves or just literally just going insane. We see it all the time. We see so many artists literally just delete their Instagram or delete their Twitter or just talk about how they don't want to be here on earth anymore, just have suicidal tweets and things. And that's because there's something wrong up here. So you want to keep your mental in a, in a good state. You want to keep your mental in a positive state. So take care of yourself. That's that's super important, especially in the times that we're living in right now. You know, it's showing more than ever how many people um, wasn't taking care of their mental health. And, and a lot of people are gone because of that. They were they were mentally too weak. So you want to have a strong mindset and you could, and it's just like a muscle. It's, it's you have to work on it. So and diff there's different ways to do that. There's counselors. There's you know, it even goes down to the TV shows that you watch. The third thing that makes you a high value artist is valuing your relationships with your family. And that's very important because most artists I know, they don't hardly ever even talk to their mom. They don't hardly ever even spend time with their family. They don't go to family reunions or kick it with the people that love them the most. And that's most artists that are on right now. And the crazy part about it is even when you're not on, just you working hard, trying to make it and breaking into this industry, you tend to push the loved ones aside. The people that love you the most, you tend to stop communicating with them. And I understand that I did that too, but we all end up regretting it later. So if I could just save you, you know, some regret, uh, and let me let you know up front right now, all you have is your family. And as you're working hard and trying to make it, they're slowly getting older and older. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to develop a full relationship with my grandfather on both sides and my grandmother on both sides. And, and it was all because I just always had this dream that I was chasing. I was always too busy to just, you know, hang with them too busy to just sit down and just get to know them. or have family time and one by one they die. And to this day, I regret it right now. So never put anything above your family. Fuck this shit. Fuck this music shit. Fuck money. Your family should always come first. And every artist I see, like I said, including myself as a creator, we end up pushing people that we love aside. And sometimes by the time we have time for them, it's too late. So always keep your family first. That's what a high value, fuck artist. That's what a high value human does. All right, number four, let's go. A high value artist knows how to goal set. Goal setting is very important because you want to know what your targets are. And a lot of artists, man, they just, they just wing it throughout the day. They don't even know what date they want their single to come out. They don't even write down what date they want their EP or album. They're just winging it. They just sometimes they record, sometimes they're not. No, you need the goal set all the way down to how many hours that you're going to spend in the studio, how many times you're going to go to the studio. These days are my writing days. These days are my recording days. 
these are the days that um, I'm going to come out with my album or my EP. These are the producers I'm going to use. You need to be very particular about your goals or else you're not going to make it anywhere. It's equivalent to just not having a roadmap and you're just don't even you're just walking. But, you know, but you're not getting to any destination because you didn't you don't know where you're going. So you want to be able to goal set. And, and like I said, artists, the high value artists, they know how to goal set. But some of the biggest artists I work with, they as soon as they drop an album, they already know what date their next one's coming out on. Because they, they're they big on goal setting. They're big on writing vision boards. They're big on just calculating their next moves. So you want to be analytical about your dreams. So you, you're never, if you don't understand how to goal set, if you don't understand how to set your targets, I could, I, I could predict where you're going to be, which is nowhere. Number five, high value artists have mastered the art of focus. Um, in this modern world we live in, it is so hard for people to focus. If you watch my last video, I told you that the studies came out in 2021 that the average person could only pay attention for seven seconds and the average goldfish could only pay attention for eight seconds. So now we're competing with the goldfish and the goldfish is winning. I said that in my last video because it's a shame how uh, just as human beings, we don't know how to focus. We're, we're so distracted with our phones. We're so distracted with all these gadgets. Now we're gonna, we wanna be on Clubhouse. Now we gotta see what's going on on Twitter. Now we gotta go to Complex, Fader, Hot New Hip Hop. What's going on with Beyonce? What's going on with Sweetie? Oh, I gotta watch this show on Netflix. Now I got a Hulu account. There's so many different things that are going on around you and that you don't even know how to focus. But guess what? High level artists, high value artists, they know how to focus no matter what what's in front of them. And that's what you have to learn how to do. You want to make it in this industry? You want to be major? You have to know how to focus. That goes for any industry. That goes for anything in life. If you don't know how to focus, if you don't know how to set targets and focus on how to get there, focus on how to become obsessed with learning the nuances of that business, learning the ins and outs, learning how to take baby steps and get closer to your goals. If you're not doing that, because all that requires focus, and if you're not doing that, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to make it in nothing. Number six. High level artists focus on being as original as possible. You got so many artists right now that just look at the next artist and they try to copy their whole style, their music, how they sequence their music, all the way down to their ad libs and how they dress. No, high level artists, you, you know, your Beyonce's, your Nicky's, your Drake's, you think they're just looking at other people and just trying to be 100% like them? No, they're the trend setters. High level artists set the trends. They don't sit there and follow them. And, it, and I get in the studio with so many artists and they're like, oh, make a beat like a mustard beat. Or, hey, I want to sound like this. Have you heard this? They're scared to be original. They're scared to be themselves. And you know what's so funny? I know so many artists that aren't even on that people don't know. And I respect them more because they have an original sound. There's, I know a lot of artists that are signed to major labels, but they don't get my full respect because they're not 100% original. They're always looking at the next man. They're looking at their co competitors and they're trying to see what they're doing. And they're always trying to jack to stay at the top or they're always trying to jack because they can't, they don't, they can't come up with their own sauce. They can't come up with their own sound. So they're always trying to look at what other people are doing and just trying to copy it. And that's, and, and, and you don't get no respect in my book for it. You know, high level artists, they're trendsetters. So make sure you're try to be as original as possible, all the way down to how you dress, your rollouts, your song titles, how you sequence them. Try to be original because you'll last longer and it's respected. For seven, high value recording artists, they know how to build relationships with people. And that's something that I see that independent artists, they suffer with the most. Look, relationships are very important. To me, my relationships are way more important than money. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for certain relationships I've built with people. So if you're introverted, you better you better get up out of there because there's no way you're going to get on top without building the right relationships because everybody at the top is because they stand on the shoulders of giants. They stand on the shoulders of people that they built solid relationships with. So that's very important. You, you want to make it, there's certain paths you have to cross and, the, cross and there's certain people that you actually want on your team. There's certain people that you want to build relationships with. But in order to build relationships, you got to crack up out that introverted shy shit. You got to know how to be able to, you know, you got to be, you got to know how to talk. You got to know how to communicate with people. And that's what it takes to build relationships. But remember, you're not going to make it to the top by yourself. You need help and it, you, you need to build certain solid relationships. That's very important. Relationships are more important than money because as long as I got relationships, I'll never be broke. Number eight, high value artists, they work on their performance. The people at the top, they have the best shows, Kanye West, Drake, you name them. 
the people at the top, they have the best shows, Beyonce especially. You know, they had to pull her off the stage because she had twins. She she had a baby in her stomach and she still wanted to keep perfecting her show. That's how serious high level artists are about their shows. But then when I meet independent artists, they don't they don't even they don't even practice one time. They don't practice one time of just, you know, renting out a dance studio and just doing their performance. They don't they don't care about their performance. And most of the time, independent artists, their their performances when I go to these open mic nights or just different shows, they're trash. Their stage performance, you could tell that they never worked on it. You could tell that there's no there's no sequence, there's no flow. High level artists work on their performance. So it's not just having a good song. It's not just knowing how to record and it's not just knowing how to write good music, but it's also about your performance because at the end of the day, you're an entertainner. I'm about to wrap this up because it's getting super hot out here, guys. So listen, high value recording artists, they focus on marketing. Marketing is key. You know how you know why marketing is key? Because you can have a trash song, but if it's played over and over and over and over, you're eventually going to like it. Marketing is so important because it's the bread and butter to the song getting heard and seen on a bigger scale. And, and independent artists, they always sit here and they record so much music. They put it out through DistroKid, but they never try to market. The most they'll do is just throw it on their Facebook or just kind of spam it on their Facebook with the, with the picture art or the cover art. But you have to learn marketing and promoting. And if you're not going to learn it, you have to outsource it to maybe a marketing agency or something. But the high level artists, when I'm around high level artists in the studio, they're always they're always coming up with different marketing and promotional, just different things that can actually get their music seen and heard on a bigger scale. They're always coming. They're always talking about marketing or talking about uh, what rollout plans they have. That's very important because, you know, you, you can make music, but people still need to hear it. So if you're an independent artist watching this, and let's just say that you don't have the money to hire a big name agency like these these high level artists do, these high value artists, then one thing that you could do is just start with Facebook ads. Start with Facebook ads because Facebook ads is $5, literally. You could, it starts at $5 and you can use $5 and drive traffic to your Spotify or traffic to any link that you want, your SoundCloud, your YouTube. But and when you're coming up, you gotta learn how to market your music and put, posting it on Instagram is not gonna work. Posting it on TikTok, that's not always gonna work. You need solid ways. You should learn how to, like when you get off of this video, you should learn how to do Facebook ads. You should learn how to do YouTube ads. You should learn TikTok ads. You should learn how to use Snapchat ads. The way I use social media, it's not a toy. Everybody uses it as a toy. Oh, well, let me take a selfie. Oh, not me. I use it as a tool. This is why you guys, most of you guys are only here because you see my ads everywhere. You see my ads on Instagram and Facebook. And so I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not just talking. I walk it how I talk it. You know, I spend a lot of money. I spend over $50,000 a month just on ads. So just so my products could get sold, just so you could see my face. So that's how important it is. Like I said, you can have a good product. You can have a, a, a hit song, but it don't mean shit if nobody hears it. So you want to be, you want to, you want to be a businessman as well. You don't just want to be an artist. I, I touched on this in the last video. So, you know, if I had to give any advice to uh, any artist, learn marketing, learn how to run Facebook ads. I promise you it's going to change your life. And, and I think in one more month, I'm going to be dropping my first video course, showing you how to do it, but you don't have to wait on me. You can just go and type in Facebook ads and just press search, sit down, sit still, learn something, get the knowledge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hot. I am about to get up out of here. I'm sweating. I'll see y'all guys next week.